The Mavericks are getting cooked. They got gamed by Dennis Smith Jr. last night, and now they're the 11th seed in the West, falling out of the play-in tournament. Ever since the Kyrie trade, they've struggled. They've lost three in a row. It's just not looking good for them at all. It might be time to pack things up and try to get Wembenyama, but today, we're sending Dirk Nowitzki back to the Dallas Mavericks to see if he can save their season. Now, the problem with this is I'm kind of dumb, and I forgot to add him to the rotation, but they, they were staying afloat. It's okay. We'll, we'll put him in the rotation. My bad. My bad. But ultimately, once Dirk Nowitzki was added into the rotation, everything was good. They went ahead and went on a three-game win streak, which somehow put them in the sixth seed in the Western Conference. So, I mean, that's an ideal finish to the season, considering where they're at right now. Luka was All-NBA first team, of course, and now we've got the Sacramento Kings in the first round. The Kings are a young team. This is their first playoff appearance since like whenever people used to carry around Blackberry phones or something like that. It's been, it's been a little while and they win the first game of the series and they're up to one. So it was a good start for them. And now we're headed into a pivotal game five with the series all tied up, but we've got the experience. We've got Dirk Nowitzki. Now this team, this Mavs team would not be guarding anybody. Adding Dirk does not help their defense at all, but like you just got to outscore the team and the Luka Kyrie thing. I think that was the idea like oh we can just outscore teams but like you need some type of defense and they lost their best defender in Dorian Finney-Smith in that Kyrie Irving trade and ultimately the Dallas Mavericks are able to get out of the first round winning by 40 points against the Kings the Kings leading scorer was Keegan Murray with 15 points in that game seven really bad performance from the Kings there Round two, we've got the Lakers. They were able to upset their first-round opponent. Although, the way they've been playing, once they get LeBron back, who knows what's going to happen. I'm excited for the playoffs this year, man. Oh, my goodness. A NBA basketball, man. But the Lakers, they're going to go ahead and get out of here. Sorry, LeBron. Now, we've got Steph Curry, a guy who's had his fair share of battles with LeBron James and Kyrie Irving. Kyrie's here as well. So, we'll see if the Mavs can get this win. In game number one, it is an absolute domination. A 40-point W, Dirk, Luka, Kyrie all do their thing. Kyrie isn't getting as many shots as a result of Dirk being on the team, which, I mean, it makes sense. And Steph Curry drops nine points, so he really folded under the pressure. He folded like a lawn chair. Get him out of here. The Golden State Warriors go ahead and lose. Luka Doncic and the Mavericks. So I should say Dirk and the Mavericks, really, because this video is about Dirk coming back to the team to try and save their season or whatever. You know, Dirk and the Mavericks, they're here in the finals. We've got the Cleveland Cavaliers. And in game one, I honestly thought, it was about to be easy, but 2K, they got other ideas. And also, if you're enjoying the video so far, I'd really appreciate it if you consider subscribing. Thank y'all so much for all the support. We recently hit 8,000 subscribers. We're trying to hit 9,000 and then ultimately 10K. Thank y'all so much for everything. I just really want to emphasize that. Y'all are the best. And in game number two, the Cavs, they just won't take their foot off the gas. They're up 2-0 to zero in the series. So we've really got to win this next one. I mean, our guys are scoring, but we've got to do some on the defensive side or just score even more points. In game number three, we've got a close one, and if the Cavs score, they could end up putting us away. We've got to get a stop here. Donovan Mitchell gets a clean look for three, but he ends up missing it. And Dwight Powell, the, oh my goodness, bro. Um, like, uh, Dwight Powell, he gets the rebound, and now he's at the free throw line. Let's see if he can make these. He ends up making both of them, so that was huge. Down three, the Cavs don't even try to like chuck the ball up the floor. They just throw a full court shot up. I don't really, it's 2K's logic. They end up losing. But in game number four, they're back and they're doing their thing once again. Like, bro, we're getting cooked. I thought with Dirk on this team, we would have 390 plus overalls and it'd be easy. But we're trying to fight back here down 3-1. We've got the talent to make that 3-1 comeback. So I guess we'll see if we can do it. We're going to go ahead and force the game seven. So maybe we can actually make this 3-1 comeback happen. The Cavs made a 3-1 comeback with LeBron James and without him they almost blew the 3-1 ultimately it didn't happen Donovan Mitchell goes ahead and wins the finals MVP but we have the potential to run it back for another season unfortunately Kyrie Irving did decide to leave the team which is a huge blow to our roster of course Kyrie's a Hall of Fame player 
And now we're just going to have to let Dirk and Luka cook, I guess. We'll see what they can do. Ultimately, it was a really good season this year, and we ended up winning 54 games. We saw a huge scoring boom this season. I think there was some type of like shot clock change that made players shoot the ball more because like Ben Simmons was averaging 20 points per game. No disrespect, but Ben Simmons hasn't really been a scoring player throughout his career. He's been a guy who might be able to get you 10 to 15, but he's also been a facilitator and great on the defensive defensive side. I hope we can see Ben Simmons get back to that level of play that he was once at. I think the injuries have really been an issue for him. He's still dealing with stuff right now in Brooklyn. All right, we've got the number one seed this year going into the playoffs. Dirk and Luka had dominant seasons, and in round one, we've got the Houston Rockets. It was kind of close there. We ended up winning in six games, then we beat the Grizzlies in five. In the conference finals, we've got the Golden State Warriors, and the Warriors, they weren't playing any type of games, but Danny, they are playing games. It's basketball. This basketball game. Yeah, shut up. It's not funny. Oh, bro, like, what, what, what type of jokes am I trying to make? Bro really thinks he's funny. He's trying to be a comedian. We've got Dirk and Luca going into another season here. Hopefully we can do something. It's kind of been disappointing. I mean, we made the finals the first year. Then we lost Kyrie. Then we lost in the conference finals. Quinn Snyder and the Hawks are doing their thing, of course, because the Hawks, they're just so good in 2K now. I don't understand it. I say it almost every video at this point. It pretty much is every video, but like, how? How does this happen? And the Thunder are here now, and like, the Thunder are usually really good in 2K. Once their guys take a leap, they've got a plethora of draft picks. Everything kind of works out for them, so... If we have to face them, I'm kind of scared. They're going to a game seven against the T-Wolves. Okay, the T-Wolves the T-Wolves kind of made us catch a break here because now we've got to face like Anthony Edwards, D'Lo, and Rudy Gobert. I'd rather face those guys than like Shea, Chet, and whoever else they have. They got Josh Giddy as well. They probably picked up some other rookies. And I rest my case. We go ahead and we sweep them. I, that was a W take by me. I did not want to face that, that Oklahoma City Thunder team. I don't know how the T-Wolves made it, but we'll take it. Now we've got to re- match against the Cleveland Cavaliers. This is the final season of the video, by the way, because I felt like three seasons was an adequate amount of opportunity for this team to try and win. So if they don't win this year, then uh, too bad. Uh, honestly, never mind. Shout out Drake. We're down by 39 points in this one. Well, we're not down. We lost. You get what I'm saying, though. They dropped 172 points on us. That's absolutely wild. And in game number two, we actually have a close game. I mean, we're down, but like the shot clock shortened in this, so maybe we can make something happen they get a good look for three it's off Jared Allen grabs the rebound and yeah I feel like the defense is probably a big issue for us that was pretty much wraps for that game they beat us by eight points Donovan Mitchell 54 we're seeing a huge scoring boom in this playoffs I mean Donovan's doing his thing of course but like Guys are just getting a ton of buckets because the NBA did make that rule change in this simulation. It'd be really interesting if we could see some type of huge scoring boom. I mean, we've already seen that in real life, but imagine if the shot clock was shortened, how fast-paced the play would be. I, I don't think the NBA really needs that, though. It's, it's already exciting. As Luka drops 51 points and Dirk drops 48, that was enough for the Mavs to get a 12-point win. Donovan Mitchell also dropped 53, by the way. And in Game 4, it looks like the Mavs got some fight in them. Luka does his thing, Dirk does his thing, and now we've got a tied up series. This is what I like to see from this Dallas Mavericks team. I think if we can score and then also lock in on the defensive side, we'll win more games. That was really obvious. That was like the most like surface level take. Obviously, if you play defense, get buckets like you're going to win basketball games. We do go ahead and lose this one though, so I guess we weren't playing enough defense and getting enough buckets. But in game number six, with our season on the line, we go ahead and win by 15 points. Luka gets a Triple double with 37 points and 17 assists. Darius Garland and Donovan Mitchell do their thing, but it wasn't enough as we're headed to a game seven. And I accidentally clicked the wrong button, but like, what is this feature? I, I really still don't understand, but you know what? Let's go ahead and let's get into this game seven. It was looking good for us, but then the Cavs, they had more dog in them than us. And down the stretch of the game, they won. And Darius Garland finals MVP. So I guess Dirk can't help the Mavericks win a championship. He did get the one in 2011 over LeBron, though. LeChoke, LaFraud, oh man, everybody's going to be mad. It's a joke, guys. Haha. -ha. I hope y'all enjoyed the video, though. I had a ton of fun making it for y'all. Have a great day. See y'all on the next one. Peace.